Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. Where we last left off, we had made it through the freezer. Now, let's have a little look in these vending machines. I can't remember if we did this last time. I don't think we did. <clears throat> We're not going to waste money on health items, to be honest, because there's no point. Uh, maybe grab a couple of handgun magazines. Maybe a couple of boxes of shotgun shells, because they're just straight up going to be useful at some point, I suppose. Now then, let's uh, make some progress forwards. Ah, oh, hello. Yes. Elliot, can you hear me? Yes. Look, I'm sorry I got distracted. We didn't... We're finally out of the freezer and about to enter Rat's place. Everything okay up there? Everything's fine. Can you hold on a sec? Go ahead. Janine. Mm -hmm. I don't think she likes you. That snotty little brat. No better mother is exactly like her. You're in a well, there's a bit of random dialogue there that kind of doesn't make any sense, but in a way it will make sense later. Uh, yeah, so it looks like Janine and dogs don't really get on. Now, we have some water to swim through. Yay! But wait, we can't, because there's some horrible murder fish in there uh, that will eat our face if we try. Well, I think there's some warning here as well. Uh, danger zone, no swimming here. Killer fish. Yeah, they're not kidding. I'm not sure why there's, like, killer fish down here. It does seem a bit bizarre, but hey. There we go. Right. And look at all this Christmas shit everywhere. So cool. Happy Christmas from Chimera. Christmas with a hassy. It was blatantly obvious a uh, Coca-Cola bottle there, which, uh, yeah... Hassies don't... Oh, yeah, we can actually go in that, that door. Uh, Hassies come in cans. At least the Hassies that we've seen come in cans. Right. Uh, I also have some plans in order to start modifying my Dreamcast soon. Um, I have spent ages and ages hunting down the correct power supply that I'm going to use. I was going to go for a Dream PSU. Uh, this is a little secret. I was going to go for a Dream PSU, um, which is a popular replacement, but apparently it can be a little bit iffy. So I've gone for a custom-made Pico um, PSU, which hopefully I'm going to get this this um, month. Hopefully in a few weeks or so. And now I just need to find a decent power supply for it. Because that's just the board, then you need a power supply for it, so I'll get a high quality one. Look what we have here on the floor. This is a secret. This is how we can get the railgun for free. This gun is quite monstrous, actually. It is a weapon for dogs. So, yeah, and then once I have that, I can start looking into getting the fan mod, which I want to do anyway, because you guys are very loud. So you can put in a silent, more powerful fan. Um, right, where are we going here? Items, other, and then eventually we will replace the GD-ROM unit uh, entirely, uh, which is an exp <laughs> that's an expensive mod, but it's going to be worth it. It is for dogs, yes, dogs. And then we will have a silent Dreamcast. Kamara Tech Hurricane. This railgun is one of the newest Kamara Tech inventions. It uses a battery instead of gunpowder and is extremely powerful. Yes. Yes, it is. It is a cool weapon, and uh, that's the secret of getting this weapon. This door is, like, massively bigger than the other door. Like, humongously bigger. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's go back to the other... There we go. Go back to the men's. Okay. How she died with a railgun is beyond me. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is a nice little area to mine, isn't it? What are we on? 1080. Come on. Cough it up. 
so we was on 1080 and now we've harvested his pockets yeah we got like 80 from him yeah it's not worth it is it grinding in this game just requires an obscene amount of time and as this is going to be my final recording session uh, for the week for this game most likely I'll probably do some grinding right okay well let's keep going forwards Forwards. Forever forwards. Always forwards. Ooh. Hello. What's going on in here? This has got like an arcade going on. How the hell are you meant to use these? Ar the scale in this game is bonkers. I love it. So what have we got? Digimoose. Don't know what Digimoose is, but I want to give it a go. Right. Let's have a go on this, shall we? I know we can play. Ah, Hello. Gaily? the hell are you talking about? You found a game token. Alright, well, I guess we might as well use it. Do you want to play Jungle Hunter? Yes. Yes, we will play Jungle Hunter. Because why not, you? Uh, not really sure how we play Jungle Hunter. Ah, that's it. Just blast everything. There we go. Anything else? Nope, I think we pretty much destroyed everything. There we go. And we've got a big gaily. Excellent. There you go, little girl. Have a big gaily. That just sounds weird. Merry Christmas. Gaily! I love you. I hope. Thank you. Where are your parents? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Let me look around. Elliot doesn't really care. Stay here with Gailey. You're good looking. I'll give you a... Uh, uh, that's... Really freaking weird. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here before something illegal goes down. Right, um, that's really awkward. Please enter a four-digit code. Well, it's Christmas Eve, which is the 24th. Of the 12th. Passcode not accepted. Ah, it's American, isn't it? So it's 1224. There we go. Door is unlocked. Cool. Yeah, that girl's really strange. Um, I think she's going to grow up to be uh, someone that needs to be kept an eye on, if you know what I mean. Oh, God, I remember these guys. These guys actually pay out really well. These are the guys to grind on. I remember these white jumpy guys. Look at the payout. Oh, there we go. There's the money shot, my friends. That's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Yep. Yep, that's where it's that's where it's at. I mean, it's it's still not a lot of money. You're not going to get rich from those guys unless you have the patience of 10 hundred men, which I guess I will um, develop this week. But yeah, you know, it's, it's a little bit better than the 80 that you usually get from these guys. So let's keep going anyway. Oh, I don't want to stop playing this, but work. Oh, work. Oh, imagine not ever having to get up to go to work. Can you even imagine that? Can you imagine being furloughed? Oh, Jesus. I think people were moaning about being furloughed. People were moaning. Can you, can you imagine? People were moaning about being furloughed. Actually complaining about not having to go to work. Can you process that in your head for a minute? People were complaining about having free holiday. I stopped the planet, man. I want to get off. I'll have some free holiday. Three months of free holiday. Where do I fucking sign? Right, anyway, enough about that. Um, right. Now, it looks like the old, the old virus is coming back anyway, so I guess we just have to keep coming through here. Yep, yeah, we got another one of those runny boys. There he is. Come on, you. Come on. 
Well, you've certainly had your monster this morning, haven't you? There we go. Oh, unbelievable. You know, the shit people moan about. Give me the payout. There we go. Oh, it's raining money. It's raining money. That's so annoying, though, when money gets stuck. It just, just gets stuck. Just outside of your uh, range of grabbing it. Ah, oh, Elliot. Elliot, you could literally just reach up and grab that. I always like this place out here. It's really calm and peaceful. It's really nice. Apart from the fact that we've got this guy coming slowly towards us. Come on you, you monstrous bastard. Hey, don't these guys look like um, necromorphs from Dead Space? They kind of do. It's kind of interesting, actually. I was thinking about that. I was watching a friend play uh, Dead Space the other day. Oh, God. And uh, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. These guys look a little bit familiar. There's nothing actually here, but... What a peaceful little place to come and sit. And sip your coffee. At the end of a work day. Play a bit of uh, Switch or Pokemon Go or something. I don't know, whatever the kids are into these days. With your Fortnites. Ooh, what's that? I knew there was something around here. A large hassy. Uh, well, I mean, I guess somebody didn't get to drink their large hassy. That's fine. I'm sure we will drink it for them. That money's still there. That money is still there. Maybe the coins don't disappear. I thought they did, but hmm, maybe not. Right, bait and tackle. Let's have a little look. The door is locked. Of course it is. We need to get a, a key card. Yes. I remember things sometimes. Uh, right. Oh, God. Put the shotgun away. Yeah, the shotgun is not as useful as you really want it to be. It's good. Close range. As we've uh, discussed before. It's really good close range. Uh, but apart from that. Not really, man. Damn, this tentacle's taken a few. Get the hell out of here. Right. Where does that lead us this time? Ah, yeah, this leads us to, like, the main bar. There we go, Rat's Place. We've finally made it to Rat's Place. Now, that's quite annoying as well with Elliot. He's moaning uh, when Janine's giving him the shits. Ah, there's the bank. Right. Um, we do have a key card, don't, a bank card, don't we? I mean, we've got Elliot's one, but there's no point getting Elliot's at the moment. A lot of people think it's worthless because he's only got 20 bucks in his bank. But when it hits midnight and it becomes the 25th, Elliot does get paid. Right, let's have a look at the info on this. October 8th, 1994. Let's try that one. Shall we? October 8th, 1994. Let's try 1994. See if we can make a withdrawal. Now, there's four of these bank cards. An ATM machine. Use Elliot's ATM. I mean, I... Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know his passcode. I do know his passcode. Elliot's passcode is... If we go to change... There we go. His code number is ESA number 3532. So let's try that again. Yes. 3532. You get 20 Kamara dollars. Yeah, we're loaded. No, we don't need to use his code again. We want to use the other one. Um... Yeah, so Janine's moaning at him about finding Pen Pen, and uh, he actually apologizes for it. Like, well, why don't you just, like, tell her why he was using that? David Walsh, right. How do we use that card? No. Ah, there we go. Right, let's try 1994. 
1994. Code was not accepted. So what does it say? There's always clues, like, on these. Um, uh, Kamara ATM info. So, October. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. What about 1008? Should we try that? 1008. No. Yes. 10080? That doesn't make sense. No. Alright. Let's try. Because October is the 10th month. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe it's that weird back to front. 8. 10. Nope. Hmm. Alright, let's try 10. 94. No. One second, guys. I'm going to try this a few times off camera. Well, here goes. 1,500 Kamara Doras. Doras? Uh, that's not bad, I suppose. Uh, certainly could be better, but hey. Grand and a half for not much work. I'll take it. Cool. Now, how do we get out of here? Uh, game, how do we get out of here? Pretty sure that's the door. Why can I not get out of here? Close for today. Yeah, cool. Okay. Guess the door's glitching out. Hmm. Cool. Cool stuff, game. Right, let's go see rats. Hopefully he hasn't been horribly murdered. Are you yes. Alive? <laughs> Good timing, Janine. We just arrived at Rat's place. We'll call you back in five. Got it, tough guy. Got it, tough guy. Ugh. Is it Leon and Ada all over again? It's Leon and Ada all over again, isn't it? I'm just a woman that fell in love. Oh, God. Ah, oh, you love it, though. You love it. You hate it and you love it. Hmm. Inconspicuous glowing fruit there. Uh, there's a dead woman. Right, well, no time to worry about that. Yeah. Right, let's move this pool table. Okay, good enough. Is Rats just, like, chilling over here? I think he is. He's just fucking chilling right out. Come on. Come on. Come on, Elliot. There you go. Not bad, tough guy. Not bad. Alright, let's push the button and see what happens. Uh, aha, yes. The little secret opening there. Lovely. Right, anything behind the bar? No. Yes. I was going to say, I'm sure there was something behind the bar. Admittedly, I was hoping it was something a little bit better than that, but hey, I guess you can't have everything. Right, there's some sort of panic shelter down here. Or something, if Elliot would go down. Elliot, my boy, look, come on. There we go. He does walk down the stairs like he shit himself, but that's okay, given the circumstances. Oh, my, my, my. My, my, my. There's a lot of hooch here. Dog, hey, rats. Thank God you're here. Uh, ready to pay off your debt? Dang, <laughs> he's alive. I was hoping you'd be dead <laughs> so that I'd be debt free. That's too bad. Most of my clients are dead. Dogs, get to the point. Who's he? A young rescuer who is as lost as us. I need your help. 
If you're looking for a weapon, forget about it. I need a lot of ID. Check the wine rack. The mm. one with all the tabs. Yeah, the one with all the tabs. Let's see if we can make... You just mm. might find one. Let's see if we can make hey. our tab disappear. It's gonna cost you. Remember, you can't die <laughs> until you pay off your tab. Well, at least, uh, at least he's a caring sort. You better stay alive until you pay off your debt, yeah. Well, we've got a driver's license. But, I'm pretty sure there's something else here as well. I'm sure... I'm sure there was a bank card here as well. Yeah, maybe not. Oh well, well, I guess we don't need one just yet. Uh, yeah, maybe that was behind the bar or something. I'm sure there's a bank card in here. I am genuinely confused about that. Okay, well, we can worry about that another time. Right, so let's have a little look at this card that we've just got. Hmm. Dr license. Lab employee Chris Walrus, driver license, says that his birthday is May 13th. Alright. Well, I guess that's all we can do at Rat's place for now. See you later, rats. And you might want to close that door up as well. It's me. We met with rats. He's still alive. Good. Uh, yes, I'll boss. Get back here at once. Sure, hon. Sure. Oh, hon. God damn it. Well, looks like we've got to go the long way around. I'm trying to think where. Where oh where. Was the key to the uh, tackle shop? I know there is one, obviously. I'm pretty sure it's a key item as well. I think you have to have it. Yeah, well, we got Mr. Ah, oh, it's just Green Boy there. We can handle Green Boy. It's Mr. Jumpy McSpeed that we need to take out pretty quickly. Here he comes. Ooh. Ah, this guy's putting the hurt on us pretty hard. That's fine. Ooh, you son of a bitch. There we go. Take him down, boys. Cough up. Give me the coins. There we go. That'll do. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that coin over there we can't actually get, unfortunately. Uh, right. <clears throat> yeah, we need to get into there because uh, we need to find the fish poison, I believe it is. Actually, I think if we come down here and look ahead, yeah, we can see someone like fishing there. And there's something crazy chilling about that. Like the world's gone to shit. This place is so eerily silent apart from the music. And there's just like a lone guy out there fishing. Hmm. What could possibly be up with that? Yeah, door's locked. Well, I guess we're going to come back there later. Look at that dude's head. Right. Let's swig down a drink. Plenty of large hassies, so that's good. Mm -mm. Much better. At least we can get a wiggle on now. Yeah, I wish the threshold for the injured states... W didn't get larger as our health increased. They should have stayed the same size, I think. And the camera angles are just AIDS here. Absolute AIDS. Maybe when we get the DCMU, um, which is the mod for the Dreamcast that allows you to run games off SD cards. Maybe we'll have a look at the Japanese version at some point. That's got all the static camera angles. Because that might actually be 
uh, a better way of playing the game, to be honest. Because, yeah, the camera angles are just fucking awful. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah, unfortunately, we've got a jumpy boy behind us. Yes, he jumped in front of us. You stupid bastard. You... I practically give gift wrap to myself for you. Practically gift wrap myself for you. But no. You had to be a crazy mofo. Run in front of me. And get fucked up by my axe. And did we actually go in this place? I don't think we did. It's like strip joint type thing. At least I think that's a strip joint. Uh, pink girls. A mega club or something? Yeah, I guess so. Some kind of gentleman's bar. Let's go to the gentleman's bar. Oh, the door's locked. Right, yes. So we can't go to the gentleman's club just yet. Alright. Well, I guess we've got a long way to go back. Something's not right. Okay, I was, I was half expecting to see the girls just bones in the corner. That would have been quite funny. Yeah, we we definitely should have the fish poison by now. Must have missed it. Must have missed the key for it. Because you can't really go back the other way. Not really. Hmm. I mean, that's not true. You can. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. Right. There we go. Chrissy. Who's Chrissy? Sure. One second, guys. I'm going to have a bit of a squiz around. And I found it, guys. That was annoying. It was behind this wine rack as well. For some reason, uh, it didn't let us collect it the first time, which was really strange. But there should also be another item here, as far as I can understand. Other. So we've got Chris's ID. Uh, Chris's ID. Lab employee Chris Walrus left his idea at Rats Bar. Yeah, ID require yeah to get the. But we also found that as well, the driver license. But there's one other thing that should be here. One other item that should be here that is not turning up. There it is, tackle shop key. Okay, I don't know why those items weren't showing up before. Uh, this game is just, I guess, buggy. Um, I don't know. I knew there was more items there. I knew it. Didn't I say it in the last part? I was like, gee, I thought there was more. Well, the last section. There was more parts here, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, I knew it. I knew there was at least two things there. God damn it, game. God damn it, game! Making me look like a fool! Oh well. Right, well, I mean, we've got what we needed now anyway, so no harm done. Just a few extra grey hairs. I you don't have any grey hairs. And I'm really excited! I'm excited! Why am I excited? I don't like long hair. My hair looks like a mop. Okay, my hair looks ridiculous. Uh, I literally look like I have a massive bowl cut mop on my head. Because I haven't had my uh, hair cut for, ooh, I don't know now, four months. Now, I like to get my hair cut every two weeks. Um, I have a very specific style that I like. And obviously because of the lockdown, we haven't been able to do that. But I've managed to get myself booked in. I'm booked in at my barber's tomorrow. I cannot wait. Oh my god. Ugh, I hate having long hair. I hate it. If I had long straight hair, I wouldn't mind, because I kind of would really like long straight hair. Uh, but my hair goes fully afro, man. And, yeah. It's not good. 
But uh, it's going to be interesting going back to my barbers. My barber's actually quite famous for this part of the world. Um, but oh, he's quite famous in this city anyway. Uh, right, let's chow down a hassy. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing what's happened in his shop because apparently it's totally different now. There's no waiting area anymore. Um, which is sucky because there used to be a bit of a games area. Ooh. Right, well, let's light these things up whilst we have a wonderful camera angle. Oh, God. Yeah, we can't actually hit these things with uh, our melee weapon. And we're getting totally dicked over here by the camera angle. Oh, God. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, game, that's totally fine. You know, sometimes you have to ask yourself, did they playtest this game? Did they actually playtest this game? Oh, that's actually, that actually counts as a boss. That's kind of interesting. The monster was holding something. You found the fishing area key. And that is one hell of a key. Yeah, I'm sure that's some kind of boss, I guess. Ooh, what's this? Box of shotgun shells. Yeah, the shotgun might have been a better idea there, to be honest. But it's a pretty rubbish shop, isn't it? That I mean, you've got like what a couple of fishing rods there. You've got a couple of reels there. I guess they're the laws. Some fishing jackets. Yeah, that's pretty rubbish. You use the fishing area key. Well, that's good. Okay, let's go and have a little look out here, shall we? There's some fishing poles there, I suppose. Let's go see this chap. Oh. You right there, buddy? You, uh... Oh. Right. Yeah, you're dead. We got the fish poison. And we got a hot dog, which is quite nice, because we need that hot dog. Um, hopefully this guy died fairly recently, otherwise this hot dog's going to be uh, pretty spoiled being left out here on the sea air, but hey, who are we to argue? Yeah, I always found something really chilling about this, but this guy just left here. He's had his, like, head eaten. What a lonely death. So I assume he was here by himself. Frozen in his uh, pose. For eternity. Anyway, no point waxing lyrical about him. Let's get out of here. Right, so let's take you out as quick as we can. Dude, come on. You know, maybe a lock-on would have helped the combat in this game a little bit. Oh god, I don't know if I'd have trusted these developers actually to make a lock-on system. Oh, fuck me. See this guy. He's coming out of nowhere. Ah, damn you and your cheesy hitboxes. Please don't die over there. I need you to die over here. Yeah, thank you, because I want to get your money. Fuck you, bitch. Pay me. All right, there we go. Pay me in blood. Ah, right, I think the axe is failing us a little bit. So at least now we have... Oh, God. Can I ask you a question, my friend? Here's my question. How many swings does it take to kill you? Let's find out together, shall we? Not many, apparently. All right. That works. Probably missed some coins there, but... Oh, God. You... No. You know, if we hold down the look button, we can kind of go into like a first person mode, but it doesn't really help us that much. Oh boy. Right, let's get some distance. Turn around. First person mode. See how long that first person mode takes to center on you. It's silly, really. Right, there we go. Now, if we could shoot the right guy, I would be happy. 
Uh. Yeah, we need a better melee weapon. Maybe we should work towards that. I mean, we can find a plasma sword for free. Pretty much now-ish. Well, no, now-ish, what we're talking about, idiot. Uh, later on in the game, but we could kind of use one now-ish. Because as cool as the fire axe is, it's just, it's obsolete now. Now we're fighting these tougher guys. Okay, cool. Right, so let's go use the fish poison. Yoof! There we go, the fish will float to the surface. You can just about see that. Nice! Anyway, that is going to have to wait until next time. Our return journey, that is. Let's have a little look, see what we've got here, shall we? Uh, I know it's kind of game-breaking, but I don't want to buy any health. I want to use that to buy the good weapons. Right, let's just load up. Well, we've got a lot of money, actually. Let's get some more handgun magazines. They're cheap. Uh, yeah, get a couple of these as well, I suppose. Just a couple. Right. So we're almost maxed out with that now. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it here. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're going to go back and see Janine. And hopefully uh, she's going to, you know, cheer us up a bit. And we're going to make some progress, open some doors, and find out just exactly what the hell is going on around here. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.